All right, thanks for checking out this horror block unboxing. This is for the October horror block, um, which didn't really have an overall theme. I don't think it was just more of like a Halloween, yay, it's October thing, which is awesome because I love October. I love horror. I love Halloween, all that great stuff. So what I don't love is UPS, which damaged my box, as you can see. Hopefully nothing fell out of it. Um, probably didn't. I would assume it didn't because mo most of the items aren't all that small that they would fall through, you know, an opening like that, but who knows. Um, that's why I use FedEx or U.S. Postal Service because I haven't really had damage issues, but UPS I've had a lot of damage issues with boxes I've sent and received. So UPS, you suck. Uh, FedEx and U.S. Postal Service, good. So, you know, I'm sure it's a financial choice for Horror Block, or, um, well, Horror Block, specifically Nerd Block, who does the Horror Block, to uh, go with UPS. They probably get a better deal with them, so I can't really fault them. I can fault UPS for this, so, <clears throat> UPS. So for this, uh, this month's box, we were uh, promised, I believe, six items. They usually say it's between five and six. I believe we were promised six for this, uh, all supposed to be exclusive. Now, originally it said we're going to get items from Ouija, Dexter, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser, Halloween. I feel like there was one more, but I can't remember. So we'll figure it out. But uh, we got an email, um, and basically what ended up happening is the Nightmare on Elm Street item is not going to be in this box because they weren't able to get it past customs. I know, that makes your, your mind race, you're like, what? Couldn't get past customs, very odd. Um, so that will, though, be in another block. I believe it's supposed to be in the November block. So instead, they said they put in a Walking Dead item, which for me isn't crazy awesome because I don't watch The Walking Dead a whole lot, but that's okay, I understand it because there are a lot of people who watch The Walking Dead, and if I don't really like it, then I can just give it to my sister who's a huge Walking Dead fan, so no problem there. Uh, and... Well, no, I don't want to say anything else. Let's just get into this. I really hope there's an awesome Hellraiser item. It's like so much, so much love for Hellraiser. So, you know. Put it up. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to pull them out bit by bit. I think I do want to go with the t-shirt first. I feel like it obstructs me from grabbing most other things. So, all right. And this is, I will say, this is one of the main reasons I like the idea of Horror Block is because you get a horror t-shirt every month, which I love horror t-shirts and I need more of them. So Horror Block is my go-to for that reason. What do we have here? I'll give you the shot first. What do you see? I don't know. <laughs> it's um, from Halloween. It's from Michael Myers. It, well, it is Michael Myers from Halloween. It says, Run for Your Life, Haddonfield High Horror, 1978 track team. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm not the biggest uh, Halloween fan, but when you give me references like this, when I get these types of references that aren't like straight up, just say Halloween or Michael Myers or whatever, um, I love that. Like, these are my favorite types of horror shirts, the ones that reference but they don't say it straight up, so that's nice. That's fun, and the track team, that's cool. I like that. That's it's a good shirt, and that's the thing. Of all the shirts I've gotten from um, Horror Block thus far, all good. I like them all, so if for nothing else, that's what I'm getting this block for. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh. Uh, this is the Ouija item, which I was not excited about getting Ouija item because the movie, I think the original one came out in like 2014, uh, and it got terrible reviews. Uh, Internet Movie Database actually has it at 4.4, which is awful. Just, ugh. Uh, but I think the new one that just came out, which I forget the full title of it, but it's the sequel, uh, got a lot better reviews thus far, like 6.6 .6 or something. So that's a lot better, but still, um, it just came out recently, so those scores will tend to go down at least a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe the new one's much better, I don't know, but I wasn't excited. So this is uh, a money clip. 
who the hell uses money clips, really? Except drug dealers. <laughs> Here's a Ouija money clip. That is kind of useless for me. Um, maybe there's someone out there who wants this. Okay. <laughs> maybe I'll find someone who wants it. Honestly, I can't... I can't be too mad about its reference to Ouija because it actually doesn't really have anything on the actual product that says it's specifically for the Ouija movie. So anything having to do with horror, you know, and Ouija boards in general, like this would be fine for people. So that's cool. Um, so maybe I was just wrong in assuming that it would have to do with Ouija the movie, but um, okay. Uh, don't I don't need a money clip though. But it is metal. It feels nice. It's heavy. So that's good quality i just have no use for it i don't use money clips i i'm a grown-up i use uh, a wallet an actual wallet so all right next item oh okay walking dead is a pocket journal it's just a journal i assume there's nothing special inside of it and i don't think i'm gonna well should i open it up figure that out yeah i will it's an unboxing video. Kind of have to. All right, let's open it up. So it's just basically a Walking Dead journal, and it's got a picture of Rick Grimes on it with some zombies in the background. I'll show you in a second. And it says, "There you go. See, there's Rick. And there's zombies behind him. It says AMC Walking Dead. I mean, that's cool if you're a real big fan of it, but it's just a journal. I'm assuming. Oh." Cool piece of art in there. That's cool. That's a good picture of Rick doing some thinking, I believe. And then there's Rick doing some thinking about who he's going to kill in the back. So I do like the additions of that. Oh, there's a special something. Oh. It's a promo for AMC and The Walking Dead. It's shoved in there. So that's fine, but... I'm not wild about this. I don't want just, like, random journals, honestly. But for someone who's, like, a big Walking Dead fan, I could see where this would be kind of cool. I might give it to my sister because I think she might enjoy it. Um, I'm just not into these types of items. I don't really want journals so much. But someone might. That's fine. <laughs> oh, a movie. Okay. Very cool. Um... I was wondering if I was ever going to get a movie in here, and I, I have gotten a movie. This is cool. It's just regular DVD, which, honestly, some people would be pissed because they just want Blu-ray, but I am i don't care. That's fine with me. I watch straight-up DVDs. Let's see if I can angle this properly. Okay. Demonic Toys. Uh, this is actually a horror film that I've been wanting to see, so I don't own it or anything, so this is perfect for me. Uh, now I can watch it. I uh, love weird wacky horror films and demonic toys definitely seems like one of those that's cool i like that very cool i'd like to see more of that in the future love that idea next item haha -ha. okay a dexter pen it, i mean okay I, I mean i've seen stuff before, like this before it says dexter it's a pen it's got like fake blood in it Let's see and then you just Look, the pen doesn't even close. Like, it doesn't even go down. Not very well made. Oh, it's because I wasn't doing it properly. <laughs> I mean, it's a pen. Uh, it's kind of cool, actually. I mean, I know my initial reaction was kind of like, blah. Um, but part of that's because when I thought, when I heard there was going to be a Dexter item, I really wanted a, like, really cool Dexter item. Like, I'd seen out there, like, some uh, coasters that had, like, blood splatter on them, which would have been really really awesome so i think i just got my hopes set on something different but actually for for like a cheaper type item for dexter this is not too bad it's kind of fun and funny uh because it's much like his syringe that he uses to you know knock people out and then he can kill them see dexter it's pretty cool although i don't understand if, if it's a syringe he uses why is there blood well just to make it more horror i'm assuming so it's actually not bad i'm all right with that Despite my initial reaction. Sorry. 
Uh, I think there might only be like one other item in here. I'll have to start looking now. Okay, there's a Rue Mord. In... <sighs> okay. No, I mean, it's good. There's a Rue Morgue in here. This is November's Rue Morgue, but I, I had the the unhappy uh, <laughs> expression because I'm a subscriber to Rue Morgue. I've been a subscriber for over eight years. I haven't gotten my Rue Morgue yet, and I'm getting the November one for in this box. That kind of just ticks me off a little bit that I'm a subscriber and I haven't gotten mine yet, and Horror Block's getting theirs, and then I'm getting the Horror Block. That's kind of crappy. But, that aside, Rue Morgue is really awesome. This is an amazing magazine. I know I said that before. I uh, love it so much. Something really crappy happened recently. Um, they have been having some financial troubles, so they're going to cut their production way down. Uh, they're going from 11 issues a year to 6. Yeah. Which, the upside for some people is it costs a lot less to get it which it does but the downside for people like me who look forward to it every month is that you won't get it every month you'll get it basically every other month so um god i love room so much and it's just it's tough i just hope this isn't a foreshadowing of things to come and they end up like going out of business that would be the worst so but if anyone's never tried room before you should really try it out because it's phenomenal so good and then whatever else is in here is probably i don't know there's a oh okay cool i forgot there was the hellraiser item um so here we have it it's actually a signed little postcard picture of doug bradley from hellraiser who plays pinhead which is really really cool i love that um, I already have a movie glossy signed by Doug Bradley, but that doesn't mean that I won't accept another one because Pinhead is my favorite horror villain. So that's very cool. And for people who haven't been able to get his signature, that's even cooler. So that's really awesome. I like when they do this. They, uh, in the September one, had one from PJ Souls, which is really cool. So if they keep doing this kind of stuff, that's a huge perk. That's a really cool perk, in my opinion. So well done. And then all the other stuff in here looks like it's kind of like random ad type things. Uh, of course, they want to put a you know a little promo in here for Dexter. Um, Showtime, you can get a thirty day free trial of Showtime if you just put in Horror Block on there. All right, check it out, people. Uh, well, there's a teaser for the next time. We'll talk about it in a second. Uh, so for the, it's got like a little promo thing about the Walking Dead journal, although it doesn't say anything that like matters, to be honest. Oh, interesting. So they said that everything was going to be exclusive last time, and it's not. Um, the Demonic Toys obviously is not exclusive, and the Room Morgue is not exclusive, but the Dexter Syringe is, the Ouija Money Clip is, Doug Bradley Autograph, and the Halloween T-shirt. Those are exclusive, so... Not everything was exclusive, like they said, but it doesn't really matter to me that much. Um, thing for shirt punch, probably not going to use it. Um, and ten dollar credit for their shop that they just launched, which is kind of interesting because it's like a a la carte purchase type thing, which is cool. Um, but oh, so they have a teaser for next month, and next month they're saying we will have five exclusive items, so that's good if they adhere to it. Um, it, it's going to have an exclusive from da, 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 Gremlins, which is definitely cool. Gremlins is awesome. Uh, and then it's also going to have things from Freddy vs. Jason and Krampus, which are also quite fun and cool. So I will definitely stick with this block for November. I like what they're throwing out here. Um... So cool. Overall, I mean, the shirt The shirt was really cool. I really, really, really like this shirt because it's not just straight up Halloween or Michael Myers. It's a fun reference. Uh, the syringe is kind of fun for a, you know, lesser item. It's cool. It's fun. The Doug Bradley signature, definitely a great, great, great idea. I like it a lot. Uh, as I've said before, Rue Morgue, always awesome to get. Love Rue Morgue. Uh, hopefully they don't die and go under. That would suck. 
Uh, the DVD of Demonic Toys. Love this idea. Keep putting DVDs in there. I will watch them and greatly appreciate these being in the box. Walking Dead Journal. Yeah, not my thing, but I can see where it would be some people's things, so that's cool. And the Ouija uh, money clip. I mean, for some people, I'm sure they'll really like it for me. I don't like it at all. I don't use money clips, so I'll see if I can give it away. But anyway, overall, I think it was a good box. I like the box. Good stuff. And I'm excited for what they promise for next month. So, super cool. And um, Horror Block, keep doing it, man. Especially with those shirts. Because that's what I'm mainly looking for. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. And please remember to keep it brutal.